convinced that if maybe he can't get me out, he'll be pissed when I wake him up. What are we going to do? We're going I'm to home. check Bob out of the horrible rehab facility. We're breaking Bob out. Hospital, took him to 10 days at the hospital, took him to a rehab facility. Um, of course, the insurance no, no. only backseat going. driver back there. I'm not looking at the camera, or anything. but anyway, the uh, insurance they gave us three places that were within a driving distance, everything else was Peoria and whatever, and of course, the Two places that had good reviews didn't accept his insurance, which was confusing, but can't argue with anybody. So he got to go to the place called Montecito. Got there, they're kind of remodeling it right now, as Virginia called it Montecito. But. Now we have the wet through flowing through our hair, we can continue. Continuing on, so we brought him there. Um, everything seemed half-ass, but a couple of the nurses slash CNA seemed nice, knew what they were doing, but fast forward to the next day, he was left with a wet bed for a couple hours, we wouldn't tell them, they didn't do anything right away. Uh, when we got there, the people seeing what they need to do for his rehab showed up. They seemed knowledgeable, but that was all. They do rehab for one hour, then the rest of the time he's there getting his wounds and stuff taken care of. But the problem with the wounds care is they just put a band-aid on it. That's the whole reason we were at the hospital in the first place, because of his wounds. Operation Hoyer Lift. We are seeing if we can find. We asked for a Hoyer, but a they're lift. not going to give Hoyer. us one because they take forever. So we're going to find it ourselves. Hoyer is basically a human. A oh, I found it. That's Hoyer. Look at that. Probably really should be. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not with him. I'm just walking next to him and recording. Because. Mosquito bite on my head. We found it's... one. She was on. Well. turn this you have to pause it whole reason we're at the hospital is because of the wounds and heart problems that he's having and uh, so when I was talking to the uh, one of the nurses there yesterday I said how often does the doctor come in because his blood sugar was kind of high and they were just giving him uh, prescriptions based on what the uh, hospital has given them and obviously as you get better or things change you need to update your prescription change your insulin level check your blood sugar all that stuff and she said the doctor doesn't come to visit them they, she said they have a nurse practitioner that's there every day five days a week I go okay when well, how often does he see her and then she said she won't see him unless he's sick or he has a problem or they need to change the medication but 
how are they going to change the medication if nobody sees them? He liked his physical therapy, so we thought we'd give it a try because a one hour physical therapy is something he needs. But all he is is doing a bike with his arms and lifting a little bit of weight with his leg and hitting balloons. I think we can do that stuff at the house. We got the balloons now. But went to pick him up today or check on him today. They had bingo later today. Maybe we're going to do some bingo. And then we got there. He was all crunched up, crooked on the bed. Uh, we got there at 11 o'clock. Got there at 11 o'clock. His breakfast tray was still there. Uh, it was about to be lunchtime and they haven't even cleaned up for breakfast. He hadn't seen anybody in a while. Nobody was walking around. His uh, roommate was in his wheelchair, falling over backwards in his chair, passed out, not being taken care of. Uh, it was a bad situation and then his wound just had a sock over it and it was a uh, sheet was wrapped around it and it, it was just a horrible situation so that was strike 20 in a row and so we're taking him out gonna call the insurance gonna call the doctors uh, obviously we're taking him out against doctor's orders but what doctor sees him is my question so they were just gonna keep him there for the 20 days the insurance will cover it and then uh, so magically there will be doctor's orders letting him out I guess anyway the rest of the video will be Bob grandma everybody complaining that's not Bob <laughs> Look at that whip. Woo. Whip. That whip. So how does it feel to be broke out? Is that because you're with me? I seriously not, uh, yeah, I But it it was it was worth the try, but that place. Ooh, baby on the track I'm going.